I want to welcome everyone to the Brass Forest. I'm your host Joe and today we're going to be looking at some ballistic basics. We've got some of the most common handgun calibers in the world here and we've got two lovely young ladies to assist us at the range. I've got with me Pebbles and I've got Scarlet. We're going to be kicking things off with Pebbles. Pebbles, say hello to the camera. Pebbles says hello. Pebbles is a Smith & Wesson M&P 22 Compact. She has a 3.5 inch barrel. She fires a 22 LR, which has virtually no recoil. She's ultra lightweight at just 15 ounces, weighing in at under a pound. She's very petite and the lightest gun I own. So real quickly we're going to go over the ammo we're shooting. Um, to do that, we're going to take out our favorite device here at the Brass Forest, the Bullet Scouter. That's right. You saw this in our last episode. It's pretty cool. What it does is it scans bullets, tells you everything about it, the weight, the speed, the energy of the bullet, the brand. It gives you all the info. What you want to do is uh, we'll slide it over the camera and show it the bullet. <laughs> Everyone knows the 9mm, but this is the deadliest caliber in the world. The 22 long rifle. And I say that because it's killed more people than any other round. So we're firing a CCI round, 40 grains, which is standard for a 22 LR. It's got 102 foot-pounds of energy. That's right at the muzzle. And I just real quick want to talk about muzzle energy. It's something we're going to look at a lot in the brass forest, and it's a really important thing to, to take note of. I don't think enough people do. Uh, muzzle energy is essentially kinetic energy. What it does is it tells you how hard a bullet's going to hit its target. The more energy, the more devastating the round. There's a mathematical equation behind it, but I'm not going to get into all that. Basically, it takes the weight of the bullet and the speed of the bullet and calculates out, gives you the energy of the bullet. I did do a blog on it on my website. There's a link below. Check it out. Guys, what we're going to do real quick is walk down range. We're going to look at the target we're shooting and I got a special target for us today. It's pretty cool. Come on, check it out. Our target today is moist potting clay. Should give us a really good idea of what kind of damage uh, these bullets do. It's about 10 inches deep damn thing weighs 25 pounds so yeah what we're gonna do is we're just gonna step back about 10 yards I'm gonna keep the camera pretty close to the clay so you're not actually gonna see me shoot but I wanna see the result I don't have two cameras so I wanna keep I wanna keep this right up close to the clay when I take some sh when I take my shot at it so we can actually see the result of it going in and the impact and everything it has Got a little excited. I saw the target over there. Steel target and felt like taking a couple shots at it. But let's see what actually happened to our clay here. Nice big hole up front. Bulged the top a little bit. Just a little bit. It did exit right out the back too. Nice little small hole out the back. We're going to flatten this thing out and uh, set it up for the 9mm. So earlier I had mentioned that we had another lady at the range with us today, and that would be Scarlet. Scarlet says hello. Scarlet is a very special type of gun. She's a Bond Arms limited edition Derringer. She can fire a whole assortment of different calibers as you can see here. And for that reason she'll be featured on the Brass Force very often. It's a perfect way to compare calibers because you can switch out the barrels for the caliber and barrel length of need. Today she'll be firing a 9mm Luger, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45 ACP. 
In this case, all three barrels will be three and a half inches long, exactly the same as our 22 from earlier. She only fires two rounds at a time, which, uh, you know, can be a limiting factor if you're thinking about something like uh, protection or concealed carry. Two rounds, reload, two rounds, reload. It's really a tiny little pistol, though. I mean, look at this thing in my hand. It's a tiny little pistol. I mean, it's it's got some weight to it, but, you know, it's it's maybe, this is a three and a half inch barrel, which is one of the bigger barrels for it. They do make them in four and a quarter, um, but some of them are three inches, two and a half inches. I mean, you can get these things in all different sizes and shapes. It's quite a beautiful little gun, I have to admit. And it is tight. Everything locks up tight. It locks back, makes a nice click. Opens up. Locks back up. The whole thing is 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 just a well-made Derringer. I'm impressed by the little girl. She uh, she, you can see her quite often on the Brass Forest. So next on our list of bullets is the infamous nine millimeter. Everyone it just takes a second to grab onto it. There it goes. Uh, the manufacturer's PMC, and it carries a lot more energy than the 22 LR from earlier. Almost three times the energy. 338 foot-pounds in this round. Got the 9mm all set up. I flattened out this clay as best as I could. Uh, it's a little harder to flatten than I thought it would be, but it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah, and about that muzzle energy. That, that uh, 22 LR... Compared to this 9mm, we're going to see a big difference. Watch this. <laughs> big difference. It's a much bigger hole on the side. You can see right through it. Bulged out the side. Blew out some clay onto the back. Look at that exit hole. That was the 9mm. Wow. Wow, what a huge exit hole on that. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to flatten this thing out again. Uh, and we'll see what happens when I fire the 40 at it. But what an impact. Just so, just That was just the 9mm. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> Well, that went pretty well. Um, before we go any further, though, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. The Bullet Scouter, featured on the Brass Forest, and maybe another program. Today, this product can be yours. So how much would you pay for this device? $500? $1,000? Well, you won't have to. Because today, you can get your very own Bullet Scouter for the low, low price of... Free! That's right. Just leave a comment saying, I want that scouter, for a chance to win. No purchase necessary, void where necessary, act now! So yeah, I just want to clarify real quick. Um, based on that commercial we just saw, we're going to run a test on the next episode of the Brass Forest that'll determine the commenter number that wins the giveaway. So basically, uh, you could be the first commenter, or the 31st commenter. Everyone has a chance to win. Um, just gotta watch the next episode. And if you don't want a green scouter, we got a blue one over on Daily Motion that we're giving away. Just leave the comment, the same, the same comment in that video, and you got your chance to win the blue one. So without further ado, we've swapped out Scarlet's barrel for the 40 Smith & Wesson. She's ready to go. We're gonna take our bullet scouter here and place it over the camera. This is the 40 Smith & Wesson we're gonna be firing. There we go. It'll lock on. Tell us the stats of it. This is a Blazer Brass. It's firing at 165 grain bullet, 1,050 feet per second, 404 foot-pounds of energy. 
So we performed some reconstructive surgery on our uh, clay clay medium here. Basically beat it with a 2x4 for like 10 minutes. And uh, looks like it's good to go again. Now we've got the 40 Smith & Wesson I'm going to take a shot at. And uh, this one's got a lot of energy behind it. It broke the 400 pound mark. Let's see what it does. With the Derringer, you have an upper barrel and a lower barrel. I was getting the two confused, thinking I was shooting from the upper barrel and lower barrel. I hit low, but the my next attempt was successful, and you can see right through, just like the last one. I hit dead center on this thing, so there's not too much bulging around the edges. Your exit holes there, though, looks really similar to the nine. Looks really similar to the nine. You said not too much bulging or anything like that. Very similar. Very similar. There's there's little bits of um clay on here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's splattered all over the uh our, our two by four. Little bits of clay all over the two by four. That's freaking funny. So one more time we swapped out Scarlet's barrel for a 45 ACP. Okay, it's grabbed onto it. There we go. 45 fires a big, fat, heavy bullet. We're talking about 230 grains. That's like half an ounce of lead. The trade-off though is it moves really slow. You can see it's at only 830 feet per second. The bullet carries a muzzle energy of 352 foot-pounds of energy. So just a little bit, kind of in between the uh, 9 and the 40. Our clay has been sufficiently beaten to a pulp. It's back to its normal shape. Should be good to go. I've got the 45 set up and ready. I'm gonna take a shot over here. Let's see what happens. There we go, right down to center. There you go. There's your entry hole. Hit it dead center puffed up a little bit and the exit hole out the back yeah you know what it looks like the nine millimeter left the biggest hole which is a surprise but uh, you know my pounding on this thing may have condensed the material a little bit so we may not have gotten consistent results hard to say so before we go I'm gonna flatten this thing out one more time yeah I don't know why I'm making the sound effects. Alright, anyway, I'm having fun at this point. Anyway, anyway. So guys, in the name of science, I have reformed our block again. And I want to take another shot at it with the 9mm and just see if me smashing this clay and maybe possibly condensing it caused the 9mm to uh, appear to have a larger hole than the other two rounds. So we're going to take another shot at this. Let's see what happens. Nine millimeter is impressive. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Look, we're just gonna call the nine millimeter the winner. That's all. So in closing, I hope we were able to determine a little bit of what bullet energy means when it impacts its target. A little more energy means a little bit more of an impact. Um, it's not the be all end all, but it's probably one of the best factors we have determining how hard a bullet hits its target. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had a lot of fun shooting it. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Leave a comment if you want to win the Bullet Scouter. And uh, tune in next time when we'll be talking about the mighty 12-gauge shotgun. I'll see you next time on the Brass Forest.
When wearing the scouter, you may experience some side effects which may include changing of hair color, random bouts of screaming, and unexplained urges to train in gravity stronger than that of the Earth. Warning, does not actually scan bullets. Please keep away from power levels over 9,000!